or something. I own it. It's in this house. Where is it? I have the little spring-loaded holder with the quarter 20 mount to hold a phone in a, in a fucking tripod. I have one, at least one, maybe two. Where is it? I feel like I was playing with it recently too. <sighs> Barely clipped the box. Let's see this one. Yeah, I'm getting good at this. This all unboxing thing. A couple years of practice. I'm basically a horse surgeon now. So, Apos, oh, there's the garbage pails over there. It's not over there, it's over there. Um, Apos sent me the DA6, the SMSL high resolution power amplifier, which apparently is competing with the topping DA, D90, A, I don't know, DA90? Which is competing with nothing because topping now has a D90, A90, some other 90 speaker amplifier stack. So let's see what the DA6. I don't know what the form factor is. When Apos is like, hey, we're going to send you their competition, I'm like, cool. So, um, yeah, I've done this many times where I plug in the power brick first and then plug in the plug it into the amp. And it always throws a spark and I'm complaining about it. So now they ha this is my fault because wrong method for turn on and off equipment. Don't unplug the thing. So yeah, you should plug this in. You should plug this into the wall last. We get a power plug and everything. Wow. What is this? 24 volt, 6.6 6 and 3 quarter amps. Um, the new 8C SMSL remote. I think I have a couple of these. I got to double check the model numbers because sometimes they have different functionalities. Does it come with batteries? AAA batteries? Do I see AAA batteries? Do I got AAA batteries? Don't think it comes with batteries. Probably better in the long run, because if these things sit in a shelf for two years, you don't want two-year-old batteries. Wow, this thing is tiny, holy fuck. Oh my lord. High resolution power, it doesn't weigh, in, it doesn't weigh anything. What is happening here? Okay, this is officially the small speaker amp. No, no, that little fucking, the, 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 the knob, was it knob sound? The little knob one was smaller, but I didn't trust the little knob one. I gotta hear this. I'm, I'm actually, I'm kind of tickled. This is hilarious. That is so, that's the smallest speaker amp you can get for your desk. Please don't sound like shit or distort real early. I'm actually, I'm, I'm, I'm gonna plug it in. Like I'm gonna do that. Maybe not in this unboxing, but. Digital knob, remote control, just analog inputs. See, plug this in now and then plug it in to the wall and then you're golden. Do I risk blowing up these like $4,000 speakers with it? Cause that's, that's a slightly bigger thing, but it has the RCAs and everything. Let's see. Um, left, right, out of the boot cart, integrated. Um, I'm assuming this is left. Right, left, right, left, right, left. I'm gonna move these like $2,000 Tim Saki headphones over. They're very heavy in metal and would definitely destroy that. Put us right here. It's actually so heavy from the RCAs, it's tilting the front up. I will need power. We'll steal it from the, from the tube amp, the Nautilus. I think this is the Nautilus. It's got a weird name that isn't written anywhere on it. I hate that. See, look, no spark. That's good. We will need to turn that on. We have to hold power. Oh, I shut it off because it fucks with the A700s down the basement. So now it's on. So now, this is very rare. I don't usually test like this, but Let's get this unboxing channel. Please like, favorite, and subscribe and share. Like I'm serious. I'm. I need. We need views and clicks. Pasta, tell them we need views and clicks. I need views and clicks. I don't have batteries. Fuck. How? I'm doing it. I hear the glasses rattling in the cabinets. I'm not making my butt clap. So who's gonna clean it? Let's bring this up. Madoka Magic or Rebellion is playing currently. 
The progress bar is not moving. Oh, it's already working. It's already working. I didn't even like physically, mentally prepare. Okay, let's lower that down. So negative 60 is all the way down there. We could max that out. Oh, it does weird sound effects things. Oh, I just realized, um, uh, uh, I don't get this video blocked and demonetized. Anyway, that works. I'm gonna play with it now, but that was quick, quick turnaround. Get it going, gotta get it going, gotta move. Baby, I'm shaking my butt, do you see it? Cool. I'll put my ass on camera. You already do in Princess Pasta's uh, 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 Patreon. Which, please join her Patreon and then yell at her for not making fucking content. I bet she needs to make some content. Get that bitch on the Sunday streams. Oh my God, you're not even, she arrived on a Sunday, so she's not gonna get a Sunday to stream. Ah, it did show up, thank God. I was confused because I told the company that this arrived and I was like, it didn't arrive. So these are the hideous, is actual like higher end IMs. Yay, more items. The MD4 is four balanced armature drivers. I really, maybe if I take some sort of weird like MDMA drug, I'll love IEMs to the point where I just want to go through all of them. Because they're the, it's hard to put this into words, but they're like the best way to listen to music a lot of the time. Like they cut out the room acoustics of a speaker, they cut out the ear shape of your of a fucking headphone. They just get right up in there. You find the right tips and you put them in there and you're, you're basically, this is as close as we're gonna get to wiring our brain synapses to sound, which is an IM. So you sh they should be the most interesting thing. It's just that I don't wanna wear them. But I'll wear them if it means I can hear something fucking, like Nana's or, or uh, Zen Pros. Wow, they've got a nice little thing going on here. How do I get this out? That had a pull tab. This does not have a pull tab. I'm, I'm, oh God. Earwax, oh my God, it's got a very pointy earwax stabber. There, we've got, we're missing the two mediums of the balance because those are on the things already. Vocal and bass ear tips. I stopped being um, impressed by all these hit, like these uh, IM cases. Different shapes, different colors. They're all built way too nice for almost all the IMs. Padded on the bottom and top and all too big to go in your pocket. So we've got... Baby, I'm starving. Why don't we cook in zucchini strings? What are they called? Zoodles. Is it... They're, they're zucchini noodles. Can I mix those with regular noodles? That would be cool. It'd be half pasta, half zucchini. Ah, that's not something you get at a fancy restaurant. Um, 3.5 millimeter, very smooth, almost too smooth. Twisted four wire to twisted two wires. Oh, uh, they're using those. Oh, there's two pin. Oh, thank God. I thought they were QDCs or whatever. No one likes those. Two wires are fine. Two pins are fine, I mean. And then these are... Oh God, no. Oh God, no, I didn't ask. I didn't ask, they didn't tell me. They've got switches on them. What do those say? There's one and two and then there's on and then there's something else next to it. So when there's four, when there's two switches with an on and off position, I'm not listening to one IM for a review, I'm listening to one, two, three, four, four IMs for review. So that just takes up all my goddamn time, I'm so tired. This is a tired unboxing. I'm gonna end it. Bye. Say goodbye, pasta. Why would you say goodbye to pasta? No one listens to me. She doesn't listen to me. Anyway, I'm gonna put these on. I'm gonna go put them on the burner rig, and I'm gonna get them done probably in the next mm, week or so. Stop. JVC Kenwood Warehouse. Oh, that means the other thing that arrived was that thing. So these should be JVC IEMs which JVC has had like a weird history. Like my father had JVC stuff growing up and then they sort of became like crap products. Like the, there was Japan Victor Corporation. They used to be big. They were as big as Sony, at least as big as Sony. Like when you got TVs, like you got a Sony TV, a Panasonic TV or a JVC or a Sharp. 
And then as that weird stuff started coming out, like Quest Stars and LGs weren't even a, a thought for whatever the fuck LG stands for. No, it's not life's good, it's something else. Gold Star? It used to be Gold Star. Something Gold Star, I guess, I don't know. Point is, nowadays, JVC is just non-existent, never mind not on the top or bottom. I'm allergic to bullshit. Sorry, I'm full of that. Um, so really, like the fact that they make a headphone and I don't maybe hate it, we'll find out. Because I, I want that name to come back. I want that to come back. There's been a couple names that have disappeared and come back. Acoustic Research. My father had very specific a, uh, acoustic research self-powered monitors that were like completely leaning back like on a 45 and you could rotate them this way or this way or lean them on their sides and they were great. And then acoustic research made subs and acoustic research disappeared. Then they made fucking outdoor lawn fucking speakers and they were shit and Bluetooth. So to have JVC possibly come back and make actual possible good things again would be lovely. Fucking lovely, Sony's still in the game. I got a Sony phone, I got fucking Sony cameras, I got Sony television. Granted, my Sony phone needs to be choked out of existence. Wow, these are large. We've got a 3.5 to 3.5. It's not a 2.5, that is good. That means you could use any cable you want. Put that down. I'd like to see them fight. We've got a three point, we got a USB-C cable, a short one. These things weigh nothing, holy shit. For the size of them, they're weighing nothing. Look at these pads. Oh, did I just speak to me? Power on. Pairing. Oh, I guess I pulled my fucking phone out. Hold on, I gotta pull my pair out. Uh, uh, pair new device. JVC, Haas. The HAS100N. Pads are very soft. Just shoot that groundhog. Pair. Pairing successful. Connected. This woman is very, very specific. I'm a robot, but I'm not sexy. So, okay. Let's, uh, actually, I have a special telegram channel that's specifically for this sort of stuff. Uh, all these are MP3s. Got some Philip Glass. Let's try oh, What was that? It's like a gap. Oh, day. Here you go. A little bassy. Oh God. Next track is forward. Like a good sound stage. I'm digging the comfort. I don't know how the noise canceling is. I mean, it was a double tap left. I haven't done anything, any research. I have no idea. I'm just wearing them. This all happened so fast. These are very soft. These are really hogging my head. I don't know how they're gonna be on like an airplane flight. I might find out on the way to Chicago Can Jam. These don't sound bad. Like I just, I'm waiting for them to offend me and they don't. If these are under $300, I was gonna say 200, but I feel like that's asking too much. I'll go up, up on this side. Up does raise the volume, nice. Very huge, the, the sides are, wait, did it pause? It did, it paused, wait. It unpaused. It didn't pause. Does it say power off? It says power off and power on. Like as soon as you take it off, that's, now it's connecting again. Oh, don't do that to me. Don't do like take it off my head and it shuts down and it reconnected. Next, play music, just a sec. Google partners, continue. Getting personalized results, turn on. Press and hold the Google Assistant button. Let go, see what the weather, okay, done. All right. Single tap on the side.
Try these headphones, no? All right, well, we'll give these a full review at some point. They're super fucking light. I'll definitely, look Look how much space, I wonder if this side does anything. If this side does, not, does nothing, then it's all full of waifus. But this side seems to be the, uh, the next track, volume up, volume down. Hold for assistant. How do I change open and close? I guess you should give the tour. Microphone, 3.5, charging port, and nothing else. There's no buttons. I have to press and hold the right ear cup. So now, what's the weather in Baltimore? Oh. You just literally, the whole thing is a touch surface. This might be the best way to do a touch surface. It's just fucking giant. I don't hate the build either. I'm also rocking it at the smallest setting, which is always bad because then people with smaller heads literally can't do jack shit. All right, try that again when I'm doing the review.